Man, this is some interesting shit. Thank you. I can respect this opinion. Hey, polarity happens, right? George Soros funds all of these creative activists, and I can't, well, other people like me can't find the George Soros from the right side of the fence. Wow. Hate is a motivator. Anger is a motivator. I know. As far as the Tea Party, anger motivates. People don't want under any obligation to let these people into your country. They just shouldn't fucking be here. President's firing up his base with the issue that helped propel him into the White House. People are saying, you know, George Soros is paying for it, the left's paying for it. You can tell the Democrats George Soros and the angry mob that's coming here, you either come the right way like everyone else or be ready to face the military and a one-way ticket back to where you came from. This is America. Savages at the end of the day. The person by the name of Caesar Sayoc Jr. has been arrested in connection with this uh, bomb probe. This man where we now know Caesar Sayak was living. He was adorned with stickers and posters supporting President Trump and Vice President Pence and the Democratic opponents with targets over their faces. At least 11 people were killed when a gunman opened fire in the Tree of Life synagogue. A road between the doors. Fucking sad shit, yo. Genocide's not funny. Or is it? <laughs> we all deserve to love each other equally, left or right. We have to bridge the gap, somehow, some way. Republican or Democrat, America is America. Is it not? If it's not the left, it's the right. If it's not the right, it's the left. Mm. Mm. This whole thing about hate. 
Trump's economic nationalism doesn't care about your race, your religion, your ethnicity, your color. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> I got a whole night to convert you. Okay. If the Trump program and the populace are so bad, David, how do we get the new NAFTA deal? And the key to the NAFTA deal... Diplomacy. I forgot him in Toronto. President Trump is a crook. Victor Orban is a crook. Marine Le Pen is a crook. Orban is winning with 70% of the vote. Honestly, it doesn't matter who we have as president so long as that they're pushing for a better America. That's the bottom line. That's all I care about. Mm. If, if, if the suggestion, if everyone loves a little bit of humor, it lightens the mood. You gotta um, treat America with love. I mean, everyone has to put their best foot forward to create a better America. I mean, even if you're not white or white. Like, if you're going to be here, you're here for America. <laughs> My shoes. Because Larry, your analysis of actual voting is different than the polling, and it's driving us to a different conclusion. Okay. Yep. How many absolute votes have already been cast? Is like 3.9 million. Yeah, I mm. Not national. Not national. Pat. Pat, I'm talking about Florida. Please stay focused. Oh, I'm sorry. Just stay focused, okay? I want to fucking go through these states. I don't give a fuck about a national number. Go back to Florida. How many votes have been hit? Will you shut the will you shut the fuck up and let the guy talk? Um, okay. So far, percent Hey, I know you'll get it through. I don't have all the answers, but you know, I'm still trying. Politics is quite fascinating. What, 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 what numbers are you looking at there? Are you basically comparing everything to how it felt in 2016? Yeah, just the, 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 that, uh, really, it's all been... It's I mean, recognize what was done wrong within the previous past up. election, and then take what you know from that and make something better with this. I had a great feeling in 16. I knew we had it. I would, I'd never doubt That's it. my basic I, breakdown. I all the numbers start coming in. I don't have the feeling this time. I just don't have the feeling. Mm, gotta hope. 
two years ago, this was your job because you were running Trump's campaign. But now, why is it personally meaningful? It's the, it's the populist movement. If we lose tomorrow, the House, it's going to take, you know, it's going to take a, it's going to take a big hit. It's going to take, you know, we're going to have to get it back up and grind it back again. You're going to be, it's going to be stopped. First off, you're not going to get a border wall. They control appropriations. Border wall is done. That's going to get it. And yeah, the border wall, it, it was a, a very basic idea. The concept, the, the basic concept is fine. However, it doesn't really provide the necessary protection that was intended. It just wouldn't work. The immigrants will tunnel or they'll just fucking get a fucking ladder. What we need is legitimate border security, if that's what's wanted, if, it, if it's wanted. Election Day is finally here, and millions of Americans are already lined up to cast their votes in what party leaders are calling the most important midterm election of our lifetimes. Today's election will decide who will take control of the mm -hmm. Congress, of course, mm -hmm. and set the stage for the next two years of the Trump presidency. Right now, Republicans lead the House of Representatives to 240 seats to 195, but if Democrats can add at least 23 seats today, they will take control. Hey, hey. It's not exactly CNN, but not. Look good to feel good. Yeah. Or not. Who hey, you, you knows? Michael Wolf, Steve Cortez. Hey, guys. How are you? Mm. 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 <laughs> Love the Eagles. <laughs> I mean, he's a good track record, and he's saying that if you want some, uh, whatever I can bring positively, I'm willing to use at your disposal. So, uh, good good man. Yeah. It's, it's quite discreet in the way he helps. At this point, you want that, you don't want that. Look, it's a mix of good news and bad news. The McSally thing I thought was really breaking her way, all of a sudden it did happen. I think McSally and Heller could both be in trouble. Mm. Uh, okay. No drama. I need you to get with Deal with that time, shit. Get this up and get it over there, dude. Don't give it to me. Okay, well, I'll call you later. Thank you. Engage your fucking brain. Mm. Yes. We have serious. It's good problems. to be stern when you must. Democrats are continuing to win. It is the end of one party rule in the United States, thank God, and the beginning of a new Democratic Party. Younger, browner, cooler, more women, more veterans can win in this game. Hey, if a woman can rise to power, why not? Michigan was lost. I mean, we helped some of the I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If she's doing her politics right, why stop her? We're doing something wrong. I gotta respect power. I don't care. So, I mean, it has no, it has no bearing. I mean, who doesn't love a strong, powerful, beautiful woman? They take the gavel, they got some peanut power, they got it. It's a bad night. It's a bad night for president? Yeah, you lose the appropriations process. I mean, the poor fucking guy kind of brought it upon himself. Like, come on. Like, you gotta realize, like, people are going to hold you accountable for your actions, one way or another. That's the society we live in. We ran to make change. We have affirmed that while this could go down as the darkest time in our history, we won't let it be. Lifting up and affirming what we are for. For an America that young people can still have their American dream fulfilled. Mm. Universal child care. Equity. Moral clarity. Justice. We can have what we need for happiness within this country. We just have to believe in it. That is what we are fighting Hardworking man. Mm. Look at our country. It can be beautiful again. It will. Good things come with time. 
just can't be hugged out. We win some, and we lose more, but we continue to fight. Mm. If you focus on a handful of messages, people don't care about anything else. We want our American what dream. What they're fighting for is their country. If they know that you're fighting to save their country and to make the country great again, they don't care about anything else. This is a global yeah, issue. This isn't just about America. This is about making a better world. Absolutely. Shit, yo. good shit can't wait for the movie to start all right peace guys